this? That is cool, dude. Look at this little bird skull right here. Where he was all big and fat. Look at that. He's just having a really hard time. Like there's still a lot of snake left. I'm just using a pair of PVC cutters. That's what I use to cut them all normally when they're frozen. This should slice right through the snake. So let's see what I have to do for this. Right. Hey. Hi. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? How are you guys? Good vibes. Doing good. Everybody, this is my buddy Jess. You Hi. guys have met him before in other videos. He's helped me out film and do things normally in dive videos. Yes. Today we're doing we reptile to stuff. One have you done any snake stuff here yet? Uh, not Just like really. not, not, not on camera. Oh, just yeah, with tons. me. Yeah. yeah. I've just met all these things. Not on camera yet. So today, just like 15 helped. years. Yeah, a long time. So Jess is helping. Yeah, Jess knew me when I had my venomous collection back in my two-bedroom apartment yeah. in Boca, like forever ago. Like we were still in a scorpion. Dude, I was a little. I was what like twenty that. years old, nineteen yeah. years old. I was a little kid. Had freaking gators at the house. The anacondas. Anaconda, the anaconda was like, cool. dude, I had a lot of cool stuff. Anyways, what is going on, guys? Um, so today we're doing a snake video. Finally, we've been doing a lot of tattoo videos and other, a lot of other things. I've been really busy with. Everything else. Bike videos. Bike videos. The hog nose snakes. Yeah, we're doing like cool stuff. Yeah, the bike. We'll get there. I'm riding that to work today. Anyways. All right, guys. So make sure you go comment down below. I'm going to give this away, okay? So this necklace right here that is on my body. Can I comment okay? yet? No, don't go. Oh. It's not online, dude. <laughs> Dummy. I want to wear it. Listen. This one right here. Rattlesnake rattle necklace. Super cool. I'm going to give it to you guys. And the movement on it. Comment down below realistic. right now. So I'm going to cool. pick a random comment. Send me your address. I'm going to send you this, okay? And a couple other things. I'm going to send you a little care package. Today, giving away a little care package. This is included. And I'm going to include some other really cool things that I have here. That's a surprise. So comment down below for a chance to win this and a bunch of other really cool stuff. And awesome. another thing that I really want to do before we get into this video is open up a couple boxes that people sent me. Okay, so first, guys. Now, I've been wanting to do this for a while. A lot of you guys send packages to my shop, little care packages and gifts and stuff. I really appreciate them. I always shout you guys out on my Instagram and like I text you or whatever. I say thank you. But I've never really actually done any unboxings on the channel yet. So we're going to start doing that because a lot more people, now that we're having a baby, a lot of people are sending stuff to the shop. And I just want to include it in the YouTube videos and just like make everybody feel more part of everything. So with that said, Kevin Maddox, you sent me a package a couple days ago. I've been waiting to do this video and open it. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Gotta be careful. Oh, see what we got. Yeah, I'll show you when we get home. Oh my God, this oh, is so cool. cute. Ah, that's awesome. Little baby stuff. Daddy's little girl. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God, and a little, little camo rompers. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. All right, box number Two, all right, let's put this carefully on the floor. I'm gonna show G this later. I appreciate it. She's at work right now. So let's open number two. This is from Andrew. Andrew, thank you. What do we got in here? Oh, what is this? That is cool, dude. Look at this little bird skull right here. Look at that. That is sick. Looks like a little crow or something. That thing is badass. A stuffed one? <laughs> it is a porcupine fish. That is so funny. Crazy actually, because I just caught one the With other googly day. Googly eyes, look at that. I haven't even put it online. This is really freaking cool, dude. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in the display case at the shop. So if you ever come into the shop, you'll see this on display. Very cool. Thank you guys. Whoa! There's even more in here. Look at this. A little retic in a jar. That's so cool. So freaking dope. A little wet specimen retic. Very cool. Without further ado, let's get to our main event, Mr. Rusty. Go. Yeah. All right, so, main event, guys. Rusty, let's take him out before we feed him. Let you guys see how he has been doing. He's been growing, obviously. Remember that huge meal that he had last time? Remember, he was all big and fat. Look at that. He is such a handsome man. Hello, Mr. Rusty. What a gentleman, right? He's so freaking awesome. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? 
Now he smells, you see that tongue flickering? So Rusty today is going to be eating a huge python, probably one of the biggest pythons he's even eaten so far. So we're going to go check that out here in just a second. I just wanted to get a nice little handling session in with my boy. Let's go get your lunch, sir. All right, let's put you back in here. And then we're gonna go get his lunch. His heat light went out the other day too. I gotta replace that later, but we're just, we're not gonna worry about that right now. We're gonna feed him first and then I'll get that heat light situated here in a bit. Check this out. We got a nice defrosted Burmese python. So this is, like I said, this is probably like the biggest one that he has eaten so far. Let's take a look at how exactly big this thing is. It's all about six feet tall. And this is, yes, yeah, so this is about a six foot tall Burmese python. Look at this. Without further ado, oh, I just squeezed some poop onto my hand. Oh, freaking nasty. All right, let's open, wah, up. Wah. let's open up the king's cage. Hello, sir. Let's see here. So we'll grab the Burmese python by the head, scoot it over to my man right here. Let him give him a nice kiss. Kiss, kiss, ready? Oh, yes. Delicious. Delish. Just like that. Super, super easy. Now he's gonna take this thing down, no problem. So let's go ahead and put the rest of the python in the cage for him, and then let Mr. Russ do his thing. Well, I go get ready for work. And I'll see you guys here in just a second when he's done. Look at him, delicious! Oh yeah. So he's gonna start at the head, just and just work his way all the way down his body. Just Watch like him adjust that. that against the head. It's cool. Yeah, it'll probably take him, what, 10 minutes probably? So we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so check this out. So I came back to see, and this is, like I said, this is the biggest python that he has ever eaten. Um, and it's looking like it's going to be a little bit too big. And now that I'm just watching him eat, I'm going to probably, I'm going to cut it, okay? So we're going to do a little emergency cut. Just, dude, it's just, it's too big. He doesn't, he doesn't need to be eating um all of it like he's he's taken down most of it he's even taken down the thickest part of the snake already but you can see he's just having a really hard time like there's still a lot of snake left so this is a little bit bigger than the last one that he ate so i'm just gonna go ahead do him a favor and cut this guy all right so now what i'm gonna do now obviously i don't want to mess him up too much gotta be very 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 careful so we're just gonna cut this python right here where he's eating it. I'm just using a pair of PVC cutters. That's what I use to cut them all normally when they're frozen. This should slice right through the snake. So let's see what I have to do for this. All right, all right so let's continue to cut. Now we're just gonna cut this guy right here. Watch out so he doesn't explode. And we're gonna help out Rusty today. Cut right through this python. See, just like that. A little gross, a little messy. This is what you gotta do sometimes, especially with these bigger meals. You always need to make sure that they're small enough for them to eat. This is plenty for him. So just half of the snake is gonna be plenty for him. I probably should have cut it before I fed it to him, but I honestly thought that he was gonna be able to take it down just fine because the last python I fed him was about the same size. This one was a little bit bigger, but not by much. So now, that was a little stressful, but now he is good to go. So there you go, Russ. Enjoy. All right, so cool thing about this is another meal. This right here, this is going to be a whole nother meal right in itself. So it works out perfect. Good morning. Go ahead. All right, so we're just going to refreeze the rest of this Burmese python. Let him eat that half, and then this will be his next meal. There we go. All the way down. All right, so that's perfect. And that's still a huge meal for him. Rusty, you worried me for a second. All right, guys, so that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Rusty finally got that thing down. I was, it had me a little bit worried, not gonna lie. I was like, man, I really need to help him out with this. That's just too, it was too much for sure. Once I saw him eating it, and you know, like I said before, normally he takes snakes that size, no problem. This one was a little bit bigger than the last. So, had a little problem. But we got through it, helped him out. Normally in the wild, they would have probably regurged the whole thing. If he couldn't fit that down and he had breathing problems or something, he would have regurgitated the whole snake, just would have wasted a Burmese python. This way, cutting it in half, at least he still got to eat more than half of the snake. So he got a good meal in. We didn't have to waste any of the snake. We freeze the other half for next time, and everybody wins.
So until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you go comment, like, subscribe to my channel, turn your notifications on so you don't miss any videos. We're trying to pump videos out. The algorithms have been so messed up lately. Ever since I was banned for a little bit or I got, I was in time, YouTube timeout for a little bit, it really messed up the algorithm on the channel. The views are terrible. It's just, we're getting back to it, guys. So please help me out. Go share these videos. Tell your people to go watch them. Just help your boy subscribe, please. Till next time, guys. Remember, comment down below. I'm gonna send somebody this, this exact one. This one right here that is kiss. Yeah. It was on my body. This exact freaking one I'm gonna send someone. So, see you next time, guys. Wave, wave, yeah. I swear they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs the flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eating plenty. Check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet the sign a major for the bank. Penitentiary, nice guy, but my inside is in Mighty flashy with a bird's eye Scribble gym to get my pockets lined Till I get arthritis, which my heart is icy Walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody Queen like hella cloudy or the poison ivy But from like a stroller with a co-sign me I don't even like me, no, I'm staring in the mirror Indifferent, who is this nigga?